guys, it's Asian Homie 101. Welcome back to my channel. So today I will be doing my July favorites. I have compiled up all my favorites I have for this month here in this little bin. And let's get started. So the first product I want to mention to you is a foundation that I have been wearing throughout the whole entire month. And it's the Long Comb Top Miracle Foundation. And this is the one in Buff 6W. I absolutely love this foundation. It's a light to medium coverage foundation gives a really nice let's say like satin finish um very and it looks pretty much like skin on like it looks pretty much like skin like this foundation is so lightweight it looks beautifully on the skin only biggest downside is that it doesn't really last a long time for my skin but i've had it on now since i want to say for about six hours now and it's looking still it's still pretty looking pretty good on me right now and um and you i for my oily skin it, i do have to touch up a, quite a bit but i really do love this foundation and i will be bringing in it i will be bringing this foundation to me in canada because this foundation works really well for me when my skin is a bit on the drier side and another reason why i love this foundation is because i have been breaking out a lot this foundation does not cling to my dry patches whatsoever love 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 so because I have been doing sample killer, if you guys have been following me on Instagram, I've been doing that. Basically where I'm trying to get rid of my samples. Shout out to um, the lovely Kaylin Lord who's running the whole um, give a sample um, killer for the whole entire month of July. I have been um, trying to use up a lot of my samples and what I have abundance of is Bare Minerals Foundation samples. And because I have a lot of Bare Minerals Foundation samples, I actually have been bringing out the Bare Minerals Well Rested Concealer out, out this month. And I've forgotten how much I like this I like this concealer. It's more of a hit and miss concealer for me just because I like it but I don't use it because I don't feel like it's necessary. But when I do use it, I do notice that it does really give a nice brightened effect for my under eye area. And it really, like any concealer that I use, let's say, that's like a little bit on the weaker side of things where it doesn't give provide a lot of coverage, just the right amount of touch to, to provide extra oomph for the, conceal, um, for the concealer and while providing more coverage. Next up for a primer, for the past couple months I have been trialing the Benefit for Pef Professional Primer. And I have to say that I finally made my decision on it and it was up, I think, like a couple weeks ago. Um, on my on my Monday uh, makeup list Monday reviews, and it's the um, this primer really does leave your skin to very silky when you apply it. It makes makeup look so much better, and it fills in my pores, which is a huge plus. I don't have the biggest pores on the face of the planet. I have probably medium sized pores, I want to say, but I uh, but lately my pores have been absolutely ridiculous, and I've been sticking into sticking to this, and I really like this very lightweight doesn't feel heavy on my skin which is also a huge plus I hate it when products feel heavy on my skin so this is a great product right here next up I have two blushes I want to talk about first and foremost is an oldie but a goodie this is the wet n wild pearlescent pink color icon blush love this blush it is a shimmery pe um, shimmery peachy blush um, it does have a, yeah, it does have a bit of shimmer in it, but I don't think it's anything too overpowering. I think it's this blush is probably one of the best bl drugstore blushes down, um, out there on the market. And yes, I do know that I need to do um, a drugstore blush um, roundup on my blog. I have been going through all my drugstore blushes and testing each out, and this is what and which is why I've rediscovered this. I actually um, I actually kind of forgotten about this with the amount of blushes I have in my collection now. And this is just a rediscovered favorite. I absolutely love this blush and I forgot what, um, that I love this blush. And I have been using this for a good amount of the month. It's absolutely stunning on the cheeks. And works for pretty much, um, pretty much um, all skin tones, I want to say. Although if you are really dark, I don't know if this would show up. I do feel like this is a very pigmented blush though and this probably, you have a really good fighting chance of this showing up. Next is the Clinique Cheek Pop, and this is the one in Ginger Pop. Oh my goodness, first off, can we talk about the beautiful embossing here on this blush. Here, let me see if we can see it better now. Oh my goodness, that flower embossing right there. Oh, love. And this blush is a very pigmented blush when you swatch it out, but what I really love about this blush and what makes it really user-friendly is that when you use it, use a, a, any type of, um, 
brush to apply with it. Um, this here is the Real Techniques powder brush. Um, sorry, multitasker brush. This doesn't pick up like you're not gonna get so much so much pigment out of it where it makes it impossible to work with. This blush is very nice to work with it, um, and I find it pretty much foolproof. Like I, this is a blush where I go to, go towards when I don't need to really worry about what kind of blush color I have on my face and that I don't need to worry about over applying blush. This is a blush, one of those blushes I love um, in my collection that really it's fuss free. Like I don't have to worry about over putting too much on and having to work for a good 5-10 minutes to blend it out. Love this blush. And of course pigmented lasts for a good long time. I'm wearing it on my cheeks today. It gives you a really nice medium pink um, look. Absolutely an essential for me. And lastly, I have a new lipstick favorite. Oh my goodness. I'm very excited to, to, show, to share this with you guys because I love lipstick and these two, um, well these four lipsticks rather, are from Bite Cosmetics and oh my goodness, I have to say that the rave about Bite Beauty is absolutely correct. They have the most creamiest pigmented lipsticks on the market, I have to say. I honestly, I haven't tried every single lipstick out there, but I've tried my fair few. And these are my favorite. These have, have beaten out MAC lipsticks for me. And the color right here, this one is, let's see, yeah, this one is Musk. Over here is Lychee. Let's get this back in focus. Um, I'm wearing Lychee on my lips right now. So again, Musk, Lychee. And my favorite out of all of these are actually the brighter colors because the brighter colors have um, last a bit longer. The brighter colors will last about six hours on my lips. And this is Palomino. This is a bright fuchsia pink right here. Love my fuchsia pinks. And on the other side of the duo is Violet. Oh my goodness, I do not use purple lipstick. I will say that hands down right now. I do not wear purple lipsticks on any occasion. But this lipstick has changed my life. It's absolutely it's a wearable purple. I think I posted an Instagram picture of me wearing this, and I have to say that this I will wear this pink stick, purple lipstick all day, every day without question. It is so beautiful on my lips. It just looks beautiful. The formula is really creamy. You can put it on dry, unmoisturized lips, and it still looks beautiful. It doesn't crack on my lips. The formula is divine. I'm just so happy about this lipstick purchase that I um, made. If you want to try the Outbite lipsticks, I think you can still get these duos for $12 at Sephora. Um, hopefully you can. Um, if not, I think the retail value for these lipsticks at normal price for just one of these is $24 each, which is a bit pricey for lipsticks. I'm not, I'm not going to lie, but these lipsticks are the bomb, and I absolutely do mean that with all of my heart. I really, 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 really enjoy these lipsticks. And that is all for my July favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and and let me know what your favorites are. If you have a channel when you posted a video, just link it down in the comments below. If you have a blog and you posted a video, just link it down in the comments below. You know all that jazz. Um, just let me know. I'm really excited to, you know, perusal everyone's favorites so I can see what new products are out there, what old products are out there that I want that are rediscovered and are favorites. And you know, I just I just love watching favorites videos. It's one of my favorite videos to watch every month. And so yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.